we're talking with uh, Sylvester. Is Sly a nickname that you've had for a yeah, long time? Yeah. Sly is the uh, natural nickname for Sylvester. You just juxtaposition the L and Y. And I think it's yeah. like a little pretentious for me to ask everyone Sylvester. to say Sylvester. Do you like Sly better? Does that make you more comfortable? Well, it's, it's quicker. Yeah. It's quicker. Where's home for you originally? Uh, I was born in Hell's Kitchen, New York, and at the age of five, I moved down. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> the entire population is here. Uh, uh, I moved down to Maryland. Yeah called Montgomery Hills and uh, nicknamed affectionately Monkey Hollow, and I lived down there for a while. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. right. reason I ask is because a lot, of the, a lot of the people who reviewed your picture said that the street dialogue, the dialogue is, is good and so natural and honest, and ha not having grown up in the city, but it, it has that, that quality. It doesn't seem affected, and it's, it's the way people talk. Well, that's nice. Huh? It's a lovely scene you have in there with a young girl when you... Uh, was it? Yeah, where you try to tout her off from hanging around with the older guys because she's trying to be hip, and she's about, what, 14 or 15, right. and... and you're walking her home and you give her a little bit of advice and it's nice and I'm so glad she didn't appear later in the picture. It would have been like, now we're going to show you that she turned out all right. But that was a, that was a good touch. You couldn't afford her. Couldn't afford her. <laughs> Once, this Can I ask you, what was the budget shot, for this picture was... without you know, being seen too mercenary? What did this picture cost? Around a million dollars? Uh, 960000 and well, That uh, sounds like a lot of money, which it is, but for a motion picture it's, nowadays, it's, uh, it's nothing. Major motion pictures. Money, King you know. Kong, give you an idea, cost $25 million to make that picture. Right. So that'll put it in perspective. No, it was really excellent. Uh, the producers and the director and the, everyone, I mean, the director worked incredibly tight. John Avelson, he worked right. so tight on it and the producers watched every, every nickel. And I don't think you really need that tremendous amount of money if you can write simple stories about um, ideals, about philosophies that, that deal in optimism that uh, I really believe that, like this man, Rocky, if you're given one opportunity, just one chance to go the distance, uh, even if you fail, it's all right. You just want the opportunity to fail. On, and I believe that, I feel so bad, like for the majority of actors out there, there's something like 60-some thousand actors and maybe 300 acting roles. Right. So all of them were just like one attempt. And you at, got at, it. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah, you're one of the... Uh, but I, I think that this might open up uh, channels for, for new talent. Yeah, this has obviously changed your life a lot. Yes, it has. Now I have $107. <laughs> it's true. No, because all of a sudden you find that you, uh, you've you got people around you that are uh, kissing your uh, hindquarters Kahuna, and giving yes. you, ad giving you yeah. advice and telling you what you should do and mm -hmm. uh, want to handle you. And you find a lot of that. And, and it's a little awkward, isn't it? Because you're not used to that. And here, all of a sudden, they're coming from all directions, That's I true. would guess. No, it is. Uh, usually you find one under the placemat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got, you know, I got a deal for you. <laughs> I like you. Do well. the Leo Gorsi story. Come on. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. That is not bad. <laughs> no, I think that's true. Well, though. I'm it glad is. for your success and stay cool and do it again. Well, thank you. We have a small film clip. I think this scene is with Burgess Meredith right. in which uh, he has more or less ignored you when you've wanted his help before. You've been hanging around this sleazy gym and he said, get out of here, you're right. ham and egg and you're no good and you, you don't want to work and you'll never be a fighter. Then when you get a chance to fight the heavyweight champion of the world, right. who's the fellow who plays him? Uh, Carl? Uh, Carl Weathers. He's, Carl he's very good. Oh, isn't he? That, that was a very difficult role. He got the role by coming into the office and hitting me twice in the forehead. <laughs> and I said, anybody who has that kind of audacity definitely deserves to be champ. He plays Apollo Creed, heavyweight the champion. Heavyweight champion. But this scene, I'd just like to set up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, during the whole movie, Rocky's very, very quiet. He takes everyone's guff. He never opens his mouth. He's just too nice. And finally, uh, he's pushed to the limit. And here he has to come out and editorialize on his situation, what it's like to be a loser, never to have a prime. Right. Watch the monitors here in the studio. Here's a small film clip from Rocky. Hey. Yeah. You have a box? I know you. I know you can't say. I just wondered. You obviously had to train for this because uh, did you ever? Did you ever box at all? Did you ever fight? No, no, no. Look no. Looked pretty good in there. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, what it was is uh, <laughs> mimicry. I yeah. don't. I don't think the audience today you can fool them anymore. With so uh, you almost like, choreographed the whole. Right. I'd like to have like dubbed my head on someone's body, but it wouldn't work. <laughs> Here's, right. Uh, no, but we, had, we spent about six months doing that, and Carl Weathers and I, we we would go out to this gym, which is like in the middle of. Uh, behind a cactus yeah. somewhere in Chatsworth. And uh, what it is, is we, we box so much that it comes down to about 35 to 40 hours of rehearsal for each one minute of fighting on the film. And we broke our ribs, broke chest, elbows. It's a sensational closing the fight scene in there. People actually practically jump out of their chairs, you know, like they're watching a real fight there. <laughs> Look, I know you can't stay. I really wish you well. It's a, it's a super picture. It's most entertaining, and I congratulate well, you. Well, thank you very much. So stay cool and uh, come back and see me. Thanks, Fly. Thank you very much.